hold on to win 3-2. That kind of performance and result ahead of such a big game, what significance does it have? It has a big significance, but at the same time, there's moments in football yeah. that uh, we have to manage as, as coaches and technical team. And uh, you know, that is one of the moments that league. we look back on now and say we have to manage it a little bit better. And if you're able to manage that mentality a lot better, then uh, for sure, the team will go out there on Saturday and play better. Mm. And you're speaking about the team coach, and uh, we can't forget that this is your first derby in charge, and you'll be sitting in that particular tunnel, walking through that tunnel, sitting at pitch side as well, looking to make sure that this mini tradition that has developed in recent times where Chiefs get the better of Pirates does continue. How do you do that from a team perspective? How do you do that from a squad perspective? And I guess the message that you give to each individual, including some senior like Itu next to you, in making sure that at the very least three points is in the bag come 90 minutes. Yeah, I think I've been watching this derby since I was 11 years yeah. old. So going to a derby is, is one thing, but uh, coaching my first derby this week, it's just another game for me. Mm. It's about making sure that our players go on the pitch well prepared mentally and physically. And uh, like the coach said early on, uh, you want your supporters to come out there and push you as hard as you can. Yep. And uh, having uh, Kune next to me as well, he's got all the experience. I don't know how many doubles you played, Kune? 27. He's played 27 doubles. Yeah. So <laughs> you have all that, that experience coming through you through as well. And then you have the stats that says it's all for Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. So on the day, it's about 90 minutes. Uh, and of course, about the 550,000 Kaiser Chiefs supporters be behind us and uh, we make a good game of it. Mm. We can only hope that both teams do come to the party in that regard. Just quickly tell me, you can, maybe they don't have to hear, is it to starting on Saturday? Oh, he hasn't paid me the fine yet. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what you have to do between now and Saturday, you do let's come to you because coach has touched on it. Yeah. You've played this game, you've been there, you've done it before. From derby to derby, does anything change as you build up to face Orlando Pirates? Uh, good afternoon everyone and good afternoon Kosi Nation. Yeah, every derby is different uh, because uh, there's new players yeah. in both the teams, there's new signings and those are the players that need to settle down because they've never played the derby before. Yeah. So it's a matter of senior players within the squad to help them settle down yeah, in the early minutes of the game so that uh, we can get the positive results out of the game because we want to claim the break rights yeah. going into the festive season. So we have to make sure that we come prepared to the game and we give our all because every derby that we play it feels like a cup final mm. and it's a must win. And uh, you know the fans demand a lot from us as players and we know what we have to do when we walk onto that park which is uh, to get the three points and uh, claim the bragging rights. Now, the narrative that has surrounded Kaiser Chiefs since the season started is that of perhaps struggling, struggling a bit to get into uh, gear, struggling a bit to, I guess, meet again, as we mentioned earlier as well, expectation. As team captain, as a senior player in the squad, how would you describe this period that Chiefs has gone through in these nine, ten games in starting the season? Not a great start, not the start that we wanted, but uh, Hopefully last night's game and last night's win will turn things around for us and we're looking forward to winning more games. Yeah. We, we, we didn't start that badly. We played very good football the Kaiser Chiefs way, but it, it was unfortunate that the results were not coming. And of, of course, I wouldn't point out we are a team. Yeah. team. Yeah. We concede as a team, we score goals and celebrate as a team, but uh, we've let ourselves down in some of the games. Uh, and I remember the words of our Dr. Keiza Mutawun uh, Senior saying to us, there's only one team that beat Keiza Shields in this league, and it's, it's Keiza Shields itself. Mm. Because whenever we make mistakes, they lead into uh, 
into our goals. So those are the things that we need to minimize, uh, strive for, 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 for perfection. And we all know that no one is perfect in life, but we should just avoid making individual errors. And if one of us does, which, uh, which is football is a game of mistakes, we need to cover each other up, deal with the situation first, and then we can start rectifying after. Hmm. Those are the words of Itu Miling Kune. He said, 27 derbies you've played in. How many have you won? Can you remember? Uh, 27 derbies played. I've won seven. I kept 14 sheets. Not great stats, but <laughs> I will improve on them. <laughs> uh, Itu, with a bit of a disclaimer in that <laughs> little statement. And uh, I wanted to ask you earlier on, uh, very quickly, Coach, if there was any pressure to win yesterday, having seen Pirates win on Tuesday ahead of Saturday. Yesterday's game? No, there was there was no pressure to win uh -huh. yesterday's game. But we wanted to put up a good performance. And uh, I've been in the seat 24 hours. So having the players play like they played yesterday was my only thought. And when you look at the way we played, we played very good football. I thought we, we, did, we did a lot, we could have done better, mm. but uh, yeah, we lost a little bit of concentration here and there, which is normal in football, but we need to be more consistent in, in, in going forward and uh, really playing the way we want to play, and that's the KZ Chiefs way. Again, one final question, Coach, one final question. You've mentioned that, that particular term a number of times now since you've taken over the seat, the Kaiser Chiefs way. For those who haven't heard you, I'm sure you've been asked this question a number of times. Describe that way for us, please. It goes back to the day Kaizam Tong opened the club. Mm. And when you look back and you look at the Ace and Sulangs, you look at the Dr. Kamalos, you look at the, the chairman himself, what he developed during those ways, during those years, that's the Kaiser Chief's way. That's the cloth that this generation that's on the pitch now is trying to emulate because that was a winning cloth. So as a coach, I'm taking that and it will tell you, that's what I've preached since I've taken over. What is the Kaiser Chiefs way? We want to do it the Kaiser Chiefs way. And that's playing good football, going forward, scoring many goals and entertaining the people that support us. Yeah. Because in the end, we are just massive, massive entertainers. And there's only 11 of them on the pitch that have to entertain almost, I think, 2 million supporters. Mm. That's what they have to do. Okay, there it is. There it is. Then look out for the Cards Chiefs way as they look to take down Orlando Pirates at the weekend. I know that Lerato Paco is somewhere around the building and... She's got herself a couple of Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates fans who are going to be very much, very much involved in a world of words, building up to the big game on a Saturday.